when we begin the semester, I show them the end result. I show them this is what we're working towards. You know, here's your movies. You know, they they laugh and critique and you know, kind of say, ah, they should have done this and should have done that. They see the end result, but they're not there yet. I show them a brief overview of their camera setup. Um, show them how to make the videos. You know, just briefly, and then we work towards breaking down and analyzing other documentaries. You know, we go to YouTube and we start pulling up documentaries and just looking at different things. We talk about their purposes and their audiences, and they all agree that, of course, all documentaries are boring. Every one of them. Then the Radford students come into the picture, and my students start to form new relationships with these college students. Slowly, they become more energized about their Thursday, RU day, that's what we call it, the RU day, and looking forward to having the partnership with these new friends and mentors. All this preparation comes into fruition, however, on the day of their big interview, the moment that their World War II veteran begins talking. They are engrossed. They are hanging on to every word that their person has to say. As their teacher, I'm just taking it all in because I know that this is when they truly experience the benefits of the project. This is where they get it. This is the day they truly start appreciating a generation that has far preceded them. We're giving them life experiences, not just a textbook or an essay to write. They are learning filming skills and interview skills. They learn to transcribe a few five minute tracks and how to use iMovie. They learn how to write storyboards and scripts and how to bring a story full circle so that it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. They learn how to record voiceovers and how to build a movie idea around one small part of an hour and 15 minute interview. Not only do they come away with a new perspective of war stories, but they come away with a new perspective of the person that went to war and came back and how they, how they were affected on the inside and how difficult it was for them to fit back into their previous lives. They've learned what these veterans choose not to say. The memories that they have tried to forget are sometimes more important than they are willing to share. My students are changed. They now have a sense of pride in completing this movie because they want to honor the veteran that they interviewed, more so than they ever did when we first started. They don't want to just get a grade. They have something to give their children and grandchildren, a way of knowing their family members in ways that they would never have known otherwise.